Hey guys, I'm here to show you the basic workings of the Deems docking software. First of all, we need to log on. The username and password is in the menu, the default. I recommend you change this to something new. Okay, once you're logged onto the software, you will be granted with the docking screen. So here we've got set up for 24 cameras. You can have the max of 24, but you can also scale it to be any size. So you can have a a two by two, so you can show four cameras all the way up to 24. Okay, so the first page is docking. So when a camera is plugged in, it will come up on here. Once you've plugged the camera in, you'll see it start coming up saying analyzing. Now this can take up to 10 seconds to happen, purely because it's got to unlock the USB because you can't plug into any other computer. Um, unlocks it so you can see it here. Uploading the footage. Okay, once it's loaded, it comes up green. Okay, and when you remove the camera, okay, it goes away waiting for the next one. Next page is query. Every time we log on, want to change tabs, it asks for a username and password. Here on the query screen, we have all these different filters so you can, you can filter by the user or the device department. Time and date, or sorry, date, so today, um, or whatever day you like, whether the file type is a video, audio, important. So if you can tag, if it's tagged as something important, you can search and also buy keywords. Click. Click on the query screen. You can see we've got different types here. Here we have a photo, so you can double click on that to open the photo. And we're all different little things. If there were video date, if there was videos on here, it'll also show videos. So next page, we've got audio files, and we also have one video file. Double click on it to play it. The next tab over here is configuration. So to get into this, we also have to enter a username and password. Okay, and then here we have the configuration page. So in devices, if a camera's plugged in, only one camera at a time, we can check the different settings on each camera. Under user management, this is where we can program up the cameras. So we give it the name that we programmed in the video earlier. Um, so the user ID and then with the camera ID or the device ID, we can give it a name. We can give it a password if you want to, name a department or a site name. So these are pre-filled out, uh, these aren't filled out, so whatever you type in there, it will segregate and give it a separate database. Okay, here we can also, so this is also for users as well, so if you want to give someone access to the software, it's done the same thing. Okay, so we can either give it a different type of role, so user, department management, which means whatever department they're part of, they can change those cameras or names, and administrator has full rights to everything. Here, same boxes, so you can tick where they can add users and devices or not. And we have to paste an apartment or the whole software. And security permissions. So if a user has been programmed, they can tag software and make a report if they want to. They can delete, export, and do software settings. And this is for all department or all data. You can also add an image in here by clicking add image and searching for image you wish to apply. Configuration, here we have our storage paths. So you can click add and just type in a storage path. If you've got multiple clients, uh, make sure that it's exactly the same storage path, otherwise you won't be able to find it. Here we have different themes, different languages, scan time, so how often it scans for cameras. Um, minimum is 10 seconds due to the file locking. Okay, it also give you alarm message, so free space. So if the drive gets down to 5% free space, it will give you a warning and won't record anymore. And here, if you've got 10% space, it will start bringing up warnings. This is meant to say file retention. So if it's set for zero, it's 30, but we've set it here for 30 days. For the important files that we tagged in the query page, it's 180 days. And this is also log files for software is kept forever. And if you've got multiple workstations, as you can say at the top here, you can also give it a name, just like that. Okay, uh, we also, Register, so this is if we need to register the software, 30 day trial, after that we have to register it. Um, you send us this with your site name, we'll send you back a key and you just enter the key in here and press register. 
We've also got a few other options here. Delete files on camera after upload. So when you plug a camera in, it will suck out all the all the files, put it into your storage that you have placed over here. And once it's in here, it will then delete it off the camera so it's fresh camera ready to go. Register camera before uploading. So if the camera is not registered in the software, it will ask you to register as something or, or I won't download the software. When it register as something, so you can have camera one, two, three, four, or uh, if they've got core science, Oscar one, Oscar two, for example, you can plug it in. I'll ask to register as something else. So if your course on was Oscar one, plug it in, say your Oscar one, and it'll upload those files as Oscar one. Start up with Windows. So when Windows starts up, the software will boot up and also pre log on to the screen. So you don't need to, need to do the initial screen. So it pre logs on. Um, don't worry, if you want to change between a query or configuration tabs, it will still ask for a username and password. Virtual keyboard, it will bring up a virtual keyboard. So if you've got a single touch screen, uh, it will bring a keyboard so you don't need to give a keyboard or mouse to enter usernames and passwords. Okay, and USB binding is for a future feature. Okay, and once you've done all that, make sure you click save. Okay, save successfully. So we change the name here to test, and now it shows up test up here. Okay, and we also have log files. Okay, so we can click on read log file and it'll show everything to do with the software for that day. Okay, and you can also download it. Okay, and once you've finished, click on log out. Once you click clicked on log out, it'll give you a username and password. Enter in the password. Thank you very much.